Hello and welcome, Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to talk to you with regards to your experience with the Natural Anxiety Solution. But before we get onto that, I want to talk to you about, let's just talk a little bit about what you've been through in the past, let's say, 10 years. How, how did all of this anxiety sort of come up for you because it hasn't been a short ride no 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 not even a short ride and not even uh like a fun <laughs> ride first yeah. of all thank you gabby for having me here and and to share with all your your viewers a little bit of my life mm -hmm. and and well the most important thing i guess here it's um yeah yeah telling my story but how your help um, helped me <laughs> mm -hmm. to to make this my life a little bit easier, right? Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's right. Ten years ago, I had a stroke in two thousand and thirteen, mm -hmm. and then I was in a coma for four days, and then I had a respiratory issue with it generated by uh, by my liver. And my liver does not produce a protein, so that protein pretty much does not cover some membrane of of my 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 lungs, and mm -hmm. this protein that doesn't produce it, it's like eating my lungs. Therefore, I have to be on the on, on this oxygen thing like twenty four seven pretty much, mm -hmm. and um, so that create me like oh man, like health issues like uh, problems with my family because I am 100% dependent of, you know, like my mother and my husband and they have been stopped doing their own thing. So at some point they, uh, I mean, even they they like it or not, or I like it or not, mm -hmm. they, yeah, sometimes it's, I felt like um, they were telling on me, you know, like, oh, because of you, I need to stop. And because of you, this, and because of your sickness. So it was really frustrating. And it was really hard for me to have this on my, under my, you know, on my shoulders, Gabby. Yeah. And, and then that's why I, I show up in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, and, and so tell me, how has your life changed how are you today in comparison to when we first met? Oh man, oh no, well, <laughs> my, I, I, with you, I've been, I mean, and I always tell you, Gabby, like this amazing outcome of since every, every time I, I've worked with you and, and you're like my coach has been nothing short of like transformative. I mean, you changed my life and I experienced like a profound shift of mindset. So you changed my mindset. You changed my confidence of myself. You, you gave me back that confidence and that uh, like an overall well-being, you know, like mm -hmm. um, pretty much you gave me back this gen you can. There, there was no, there was no, um, no, I don't know, before, before I, I, I met you, Gabby, I was like, again, like grappling with these struggles of uh, fears and I was scared of things. And then this anxiety thing started saying like, what I'm going to do? And then this, and this, and I was like, clipping my hands and, and breaking my, my bones and this and this and this. And when you appear, it was more like, okay, let's going to address this. Let's going to create something. Let's make a plan. Don't stress. Don't just calm down, Jane, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And well, that's now how I actually like feel you know like ever since I, I'm, I I met you and I work with you my anxiety has absolutely gone which is like no I embrace it and I say no these struggles have to go they, they just have to live my life mm -hmm. otherwise I will be just like just like watching my life like this passing by right so, yeah. and I you know, I don't think that the viewers understand just the level of struggle that you have been through. It, it's not for the faint of heart. So oh. it it hasn't just been those medical 
um, situations. There's been other compounded situations. There's been ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. There's the financial strain. You lost your career. You lost your home. You lost everything. So if it could be potentially a worst case scenario for anyone, you lived through it. And I'm so proud of the work that you've done. And I do have to say, you know, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with everyone. It was a huge challenge because I even questioned whether I would be capable to help you through it because the level of complexity of what you've been through yeah. is beyond what I could have possibly imagined a human being to go through. So oh. it was a leap of faith for the two of us. And I'm grateful for the lesson because you are living proof that even in this type of scenario, this works. Yes, absolutely. I have, absolutely. I've watched you take your power back and, and because you were a very powerful human kind, compassionate individual be before your life got turned out upside down. And having been through everything, it would be very, very easy for anyone to go into victimhood and stay in victimhood. And you have proven to yourself and to the world that that is not who you are. So thank you. No, no, no. But you know what, Gabby, I, I believe and I firmly believe that 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 you just mentioned is actually the result of your job, and and I mean not your job as um you know as as an anxiety coach, and it helped me to go through this process, like you said, mm -hmm. and like you mentioned, it, it was not just like the medical issue, the the economical thing, the situation, the the second coma because I was in a coma for a second time, yes, for fourteen days, and then when I woke up, it was okay, fine. And I need to restart learning. So relearning how to sit, how to eat, how to this, how to that. And your companion, Gabby, has, and I, I don't know if I, I think, no, I've never told you this. But sometimes, Gabby, I, I was just feeling so bad. And I said, I need to talk to Gabby. And I need to talk to her because... Uh, you are the only one that gave me back in that time that it was really, really like heavy, you know, like the anxiety levels here and the stressful thing here. And I said, I need to talk to you because I don't remember if, um, if you, I don't know if you remember when I told you, Gabby, something really funny happened and something like it was like um, a magical moment between you and I and and it was when I opened my phone, when I was sleeping, I opened my phone and it was one, one of your, one of our like um, meditations. And I was asleep and I just click it. I just fall asleep. And then all this, like the calm came back again to my life. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, Ever since Gabby that I that I've been working with you and, and meeting you and and being with you, yes, this empowerment and this power that you mentioned is just because you bring it out again. <laughs> you brought me back to life again, <laughs> sort of speak, you know. Yeah. I, I knew it that I was, you know, like a powerful lady, but like punch after punch after punch after punch, sometimes yeah. you doubt about yourself absolutely you have to, yeah exactly you 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 doubt about if you're capable or not yes you doubt about uh i'll doubt when when they like fire me on my job and it was one of the most precious thing that i have right or that i had and when they send me like no you cannot work anymore they just like i felt like somebody like chopped my legs or my arms or something yes and after these several punch things or this punching bag <clears throat> that I felt at a certain point, you, you taught me how to deal with it and say, okay, Jen, now you have to go down. And now you have to like, like strike a little bit. <laughs> I move the side, I move the other side. Mm -hmm. And this is just like, a, like you say, a, like a compound work. And we have been working so, so good, so happy. And I felt 
this big, big, huge transformation or or trans it just transformed my life, Gabby. You transformed my life and and you transform this is a more important thing. You transform like the moments that occur in my life that I began to challenge my limit, my beliefs. And and you push me out, out of my comfort zone and say, no, Jen, you have to do this, 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 this. And then you taught me how to embrace it like my vulnerability mm-hmm. as a, um, a strength rather than a weakness. You know, it, and, and that's fantastic. I mean, that's that's something that I couldn't do it by myself. I know, and, I know right here, right now, I can tell you that I couldn't do it by myself. I uh, couldn't uh, keep on receiving these punching things and doing nothing. And you make me this, came back and say, now I want to do more things now one and sorry to the people that is listening to me but i'm i'm what you see is what you get and i remember gabby that i tell you that sometimes i was even afraid of having a shower gabby mm-hmm. and and you said nope go and jump into the ocean jump into the shower jump and do this and do this i was like oh no and it's very hard for me but then I I always have you in my back, pushing me in a good way, right? And yeah. and pushing me and say, no, oh, you have to go and, and you have to do it. So that was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. 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 I, and I know that you have, I mean, you're such a force to be reckoned with. You, you have taken on the government and legal battles too, because the medications that you require are very rare, very di- difficult to find, have access to financially as well. You have taken on the government as, as well in legal matters, malpractice. What, you've been through so much, and yet here we are. And there was, I, we've gone through, you know, the periods of the ups and the downs. And you've been in, in, in situations where we did another interview and another testimonial before, and you had a really hard time taking breaths in. And today, you know, if it wasn't for the oxygen being in, in inside of your nostrils, you you don't show at all that you've been through all of this. So yeah, I'm, I'm like this. Ta-da! I know. <laughs> And it's, it's such a difference. And I, again, I'm so, so proud because it's what you have been through is one of the most difficult situations I've seen anybody have to go through in my life. And I know it's not something that you ever even fathomed having to go through, let alone, let alone conquer. Yeah, it's like you mentioned. I, I, I said like, okay, I need to understand what's going on. I need to fight for my life, like mm-hmm. you mentioned. I, I need to fight for my life uh, with yeah. getting like this medication, going through this uh, <clears throat> legal action. It took me ages, Gabby. Ages. Well, well, you know, like more than three plus ages, years to go and say like. And I'll go to the courthouse and I go to this and they go to that. And then on top of that, I was feeling not that right, like medical not yeah. right. I said, no, I have to do it. And, and then I have to go because I need to fight for my medication. And finally, I, I've got it. And now I'm feeling much better. But still, we are in a little this uh, not very like comfort zone mm-hmm. again, you know, like. We're still dealing with some things, but <clears throat> the big difference, Gabby, is that now I look my life in a completely, completely different way. Yeah. I I I no longer worry about love of the oh my, what if this happened? Or I'm gonna be like, oh no, I'm gonna uh, what if I am the victim of this and that? And what if um, I can make this. What if I can't? Everything was negative. So you helped me to, you know, to my mindset, to change my mindset. As I'm very proud to tell you and to share with you that right here, right now, I'm studying, I'm in the second grade of 
of law school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am studying. Well, I am marketer, but this is my second university like career. Yeah. So I am studying law, Fantastic. and maybe, maybe because I want to help, you know, people just not to have to pass what I what I pass. Yes. You know, again, against with this courthouse and lawyers and this and that and and um, so yeah, I, I I studied I'm studying law, and also I'm studying genetics. I have a diploma on on genetic like genoma humano on the genetic genetics. I the, think yeah, uh, human genome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Human genome. <clears throat> That's amazing. So that that. That little little different things, it was as a result of what you always told me, like, Jen, you have to do this. You why don't you why don't you why don't you try and you know like learn something different or read these books and this eager of learning and this eager of or eagerness of of change from negative to positive while I was in the probably in the worst of my times mm -hmm. that opens my eyes and say yeah I'm gonna follow what Gabby says and and yeah I can tell you right here right now it was safe it was effective it was yeah it was a process obviously that you know that required dedication and and commitment from my side that everything you say that you tell me to you know that I that I we were working together it's not like you tell me and I and I, it was like obediency, right? But it was mm -hmm. like a, a communication. And yes, like I said, it was it was a, a process, but that process I thought it would take ages, ages, and and it wasn't. It was quite quite fast, and it was quite, um, yeah. It required again like dedication and commitment, but the results came relatively like quickly. Mm -hmm. So. Having said everything that I told you about my my medical condition, my my fear about life, my fear about being alive, you know, so that's what I'm saying, like relatively, because it was quickly actually, mm -hmm. and I I believe that this speaks, Gabby, of your or or the program again, like you know, against anxiety. And it, 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 you know, which speaks its uh, effic efficacy or efficiency? efficiency? Uh, efficacy, of yes. Uh, so it's yeah. effective, yeah. Efficacy <clears throat> and facilitating, you know, like this meaningful like change. And it was meaningful because I am a different one. I am actually like a like a different. Yet I'm still Jennifer. I'm still very Jen. much so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still Jane and I I we said yeah it's gonna be like a short interview. I knew we wouldn't. <laughs> okay. But and just a huge opportunity to let anybody like who is listen to this audio or video. Uh I mean I'm nobody to say that advice, but my tip if you really want and if you are really struggling with anxiety symptoms or like and 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 you know that is to prioritize your self care, you have or or you need to seek support from a qualified professional. Uh, you have to be open and exploring different modalities that resonate with you. Mm -hmm. And I believe, and I'm talking to you, that maybe you are listening to me and you are struggling with medical condition, with economical conditions, that there is they're avoiding to enjoy your life and to live your life and i recommend you and i i believe that i want you to remember that your journey to healing and empowerment is unique my problems are gen problems and your problems will be all you know obviously your problems but the only common people that we might have is gabby so <laughs> Trust, yeah, yeah, you know, like in this empowerment, in, in this empowerment that she can bring you, and and trust in yourself, and trust in the process, because the process works. 
yeah. and and it makes you definitely like it get back to life it it gives you your life back yeah. and and gabby did so to me so i'm really happy i'm really 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 like it's priceless it's i there's no word gabby that i can tell you how how much i love you and you know that and I love you right back, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and I love you more. Yeah, it's it's just amazing what what you've done. It's just yeah. I mean, from from uh, from advices from Jane, I think you should be doing this. No, Gabby, but this, this, and that. Oh well, okay, well no. And then you and a week a week after, oh, Jane, what are you doing? Are you doing this? Yeah, Gabby, I'm feeling great. I'm not feeling this, and I'm feeling so. You push and push and push and push, always in a good way, you know, in a respectful yeah. way, in a in a super professional and respect, respectful, professional, friendly, um, and and most of it like with love to the others, to be healed, to be living their lives the way it has to be lived. I I believe that absolutely, and that's. That's somebody that I mean. That's that's a gift, Gabby. And I was told you that is a gift, and you are a gift woman. Thank and you. the gift is that you share that with people that is in need, and people that knock at your door and said, "Gabby, I need help." And you have always been there. And by the way, you can call her like two in the morning, and she will answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, sure. Um. <laughs> But Let me ask you, Jen. Yeah. Did you, could you have foreseen the Jen that we see today six years ago? Oh, no way. No way. No. It was like, no, 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 no. I mean, even though six years ago, seven years ago, I said, yes, I'm going to give it a go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. I'm going to open my mind. I'm going to believe, I'm going to open to believe and open to say, I want to be the same Jennifer that was 14 years ago, right? So I need help. So I raised my hand, I said, yes. But to your question, no way. As I am right now, as I am like, like right here right now, no way, no. I mean, not even in my, not even here. I was like, no, I, I thought, Yes, I'm going to change. Yes, she's going to help me. Yes, you know, I'm going to hear some support. And maybe she's going to take me, teach me some strategies or um, way to go to achieve things that I need to. But no, not like this, Gabby. I didn't. No, I mean, yeah. come on, I'm studying law. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> from, from a comma to studying law is like a big like a big job <laughs> and then it's beautiful but uh, jen i want to talk about a specific situation because i think it's very important as you've said you need to have the oxygen 24 7 yes. and this oxygen is hooked up to a machine that's battery powered etc yes. and going to get your in weekly injections is a long ride for you Yes. Or at least when, when we started working together, you lived a little bit further away. And yep. it was what, like a two hour drive? Yeah, pretty much like one hour and a half, two hour, yeah, one forty. Right. Yeah. right. And one of the things that we were working on was visualizing yourself being independent of the oxygen. Yes. And on this particular day, very, very hot day because oh. of the location where Jen lives, the car broke down. Yes. The oxygen oh. ran out. Run out, yes. And the battery ran out. Yes, correct? that's correct. That's yeah. correct. Yes. And, <clears throat> oh, man. I just felt like something on my tummy right now because that was so true, man. I was just like, I, I mean, if I weren't with you back in the time, probably I would, in that moment, it was, we were on the way back. We were under 33 Celsius degrees. So the heat With does humidity, yes. And then, the you know, like this warm temperature does not help me to breathe normal, you know. 
And then all of a sudden was like, tee, 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 tee. the car broke, boom. Okay. In the middle of nowhere, Gabby, in the middle of nowhere. I know. So it was not like a PowerPoint to connect my, my oxygen, my portable one. It was nowhere to connect this thing. I was like, Omar, what am I going to do? I said, okay, what will Gabby say? Okay, stay calm, breathe. Okay. <laughs> I said, but, but shoot, I, I don't have oxygen, so I'm going to breathe. <laughs> and then I started like, okay, breathe, breathe. Remember what Gabby said, breathe. Okay, take it easy. Everything has a solution. And then this was Jennifer, the, the calm one. And then J the Jennifer, the left one, was like, a, <laughs> oh, my God, you're going to die. You're going to be here. You know? <laughs> and I was like, you know, you know, I was fighting with myself. And I was like, <laughs> left, left brain side. <laughs> you don't have nothing to say here. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, okay, I'm going to listen to you. So I was like, okay, I'm back to back to ground zero is there. I'm gonna relax. Now it's gonna arrive some help. And then remember the police arrived. And the, the police guy said, yes, because I can plug my, my oxygen into their car, the the the, the police car. Mm -hmm. And the policeman said, Well, I'm sorry, but I can allow you to plug it because if something happened to you. I'm not able to, you know, I'm not capable and it's a way that's far my responsibility to, you know, pretty much was saying, if you die in my car patrol, it's going to be my problem. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay, that's okay. No problem. Just let me, you know, can I just jump into your patrol and just put the air con please so I can breathe by the time my oxygen just like, Mm -hmm. get back to the normal temperature and he said well uh, yeah <laughs> okay okay thank you but for me try to imagine guys for me jump down to the car walk walk without oxygen to the car patrol thing jump again making these efforts and then dealing with my mind with you're gonna be fine and i was like you can make it, you can make it. You can remember Gabby's word, you can make it, you can make it. And then I made it. <laughs> yes, I remember you You wrote oh. me, Gabby, you won't believe what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you have no idea what happened. I said, you know yeah. what happened, please, this, this, this. But yeah, it was one of the, I think if somebody asked me like, if that was my exam, <clears throat> sorry, to pass my, my, um, belief test my belief test that was my exam yeah. and i'm sure that i i, I got a 10 or like a 10 out of 10 you absolutely like did <laughs> well we both <laughs> yeah because you were there the whole time uh, i was like I said, gabby would say this okay no 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 gabby would say no jen don't panic <laughs> gabby would say no 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 keep it easy calm down relax breathe and I was breathing and then, yeah, it worked. It worked. And it was, now that you mentioned that, oh man. Yeah, that's right. Again, I, 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 I reinforced what I just told you before, Gabby. It was, you have no idea the impact, the positive impact you have had in my life and how you have helped me to, to be Jennifer again. You know, the one that is, um, untamable and powerful and and I can do whatever I want and the yeah and the superpower <laughs> yeah and the superwoman and the tan 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 yeah. just missing my my yeah you know like yeah. uh, the superman wife or I don't know if it's the boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> I don't know the super wonder woman like the, yeah. I'm just giving like my it's missing my my turning around mm -hmm. and and it was yeah yeah it was all this all this work with you again it's not in one session but in one session you can realize how good you are that's for sure and i can i mean i i don't know if anybody's gonna see me but i can put my hand on, you know <laughs> if i had a bible here i would put like yeah like yeah i have done the truth in one session you're they will see how how good you are gabby and it's um 
can I say something just sure okay the very first one the very first uh, session that we had I said okay I'm gonna be open well by 15 minutes after I was just like yeah I'm open <laughs> <laughs> Not even 15 minutes, like 10 minutes after I was like, yeah, yes, yes, you're right. And I remember that I asked you, let's, Gabby, how do you know this? I mean, I, I don't remember what I asked you or, or mm -hmm. what we're talking about. I said, but how, how, how do you know that, that answer? How? And you were just, just, just trust me. I said, yes, I trust you, but, but tell me, <laughs> come on, tell me. Just, yeah. Share, share a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who told you that? No, yeah, really, you spoke with my mom. <laughs> yeah, and it was amazing just to, that very first session, it was just like the the link and the bond and the hook and the the, the begin, well, the began. Beginning. Of this, the beginning, yeah, the beginning of this great um Yes, we work together, but then that working sessions become more like friend friendship. And that's awesome because there's nothing better than see somebody that you like and somebody that you love that has passed a lot of difficult things, difficulties, and then see her or him outside that bumpy road. And yeah. I think I believe that in 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 your in your case on your side or on the fence in the on the fe on the side fence you are you are watching this. I believe it's just amazing that you have the opportunity to to talk to many many Jenny many many Jennifers with different uh, situations, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that all of them has something really nice to say about you. That I just did because it just came from my heart, my Gabby. Thank you so much, Jen. <laughs> this was been right. wonderful. Don't Thank right. you Don't so right. much. Don't no, right. no, no. If, if anything, they're tears it's of happiness. joy. Exactly. They're tears of joy. So yes. Yes. thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with you, Jen. Thank you for being my teacher as well. And, oh. uh, and thank you for your strength. I, I yes, so, so much. Um, because the, the, this beautiful butterfly that came from this work, I am so in awe of, and, uh, and your strength is inspirational. And I know you're going to write a book and a movie is going to be made about your story because this is, mm -hmm. you're, you're truly a force to be reckoned with. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And well, my book is ready. I I I finished a lot of like a writing thing, Good. but I just need to you know start now the process of putting it up and all this thing. Good. But I I believe you know what Gavin, now you mentioned that I think a book it will be a little bit short of all my from when Jennifer the very first day that she opens her her eyes in this world. It will be really short, like a movie, or maybe you could make like a Harry Potter one. Or like <laughs> you can you can make it a series of books because what you have gone through is truly spectacular. Um, yeah, man. Like remember the day? Sorry, remember the day that I told you that from in one day they fired me from two jobs, the same day, the same right day. I'm like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? This and that. But I didn't meet you. If I was wired. It wasn't it was prior, yeah, a few a few years prior to that, but yeah, well, there's been that a lot. I have that, yeah, I still have that little thing of of itchiness in my in my. No, I don't care. No, <laughs> we. Now you took we, your power back. <laughs> I find something like that now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they lost it, but yeah, thank you, thank you so much, Gabby. I, I every single message and what's happened. That I say thank you. It's it's with my heart. It's not me talking. It's my heart. It's my soul, and it's my my my. Uh, how can I say agradecimiento? My Gratitude. my thankful. 
my gratitude, yeah. my, my gratitude, my thankfulness, my my be so, yeah, so so grateful with you, and and so 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 happy to have you in my life, and yes. that's a gift again that 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 God sent me, because you are like a a little beautiful angel. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. That's what you are. So are you. <laughs> yeah, but you're better. <laughs> Because you talk to over there. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Jen, it's been such a pleasure. I look forward to speaking soon again. And thank you for doing this with me, okay? No, no, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to share. And it's a pleasure that anyone out there really listen, like real experience things, you know? This is not like, Ah, oh yeah, let's gonna oh let's gonna make an interview. Oh yeah, hello Gabby, how are you? Good morning. <laughs> not and, and 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 I'm sorry if if my English is not that good, but oh my gosh, well, yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, it's like okay, um, it, it it's a it's a English Spanish <laughs> one. <laughs> we we get each other. That's all that matters. Exactly. <laughs> And I believe like the 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 most important thing is our heart the like speak the same language, yeah, and that's what matters and to anyone out there listening to this, yes, please contact Gabby and if you are in a situation which you believe you need help, it is okay to recognize that somebody needs help. It is okay to recognize and lift your hand and say. I need help from someone. I need help to be to be again, whoever you are. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that if you approach Gabby, she will be able to help you. And if not, she will be able to say, I can't help you, but mm -hmm. I don't think so. But just that level of certainty and that level of honesty, you can expect from Gabby. She will tell you everything. And and that's fantastic. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get back your life back because it's going to be much painful if you don't do it. So just give it a shout out and reach out to her and talk to her. She's always open. Not in the middle of the night, but she's always <laughs> open. <laughs> like, I, like I do. Huh? But she's always open to, to talk to you. So... And Gabby, thank you again. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. I love you. Love Bye. you too. <laughs> Bye.